When I'm not investigating all of human knowledge, I like to make things. Why, you ask? Well, sometimes the features that I want are not commercially available, and I never want to feel afraid to tinker with and modify the things that I own. If you've watched my movies, you've already seen a couple of my best projects, my orange bicycle and my six-inch telescope and its mounting. Already, since you've seen them, I've made changes to both. So let me take you through an idea that I had recently and show you how I put things together. Recently, I received a request from a relative who lives in a small apartment in New York City. She knits, and she wanted a way to wind yarn efficiently that did not take up half of her apartment. My main shop tools are a bandsaw, a drill press, and a lathe. This is what I came up with. It's compact enough to store just about anywhere. The main upright consists of a Lazy Susan bearing mounted on an oak shaft. Three legs with adjustable feet mean it'll stand level just about anywhere. The business of winding happens on two oaken cross arms and four pine pegs hold the yarn itself. So let me show you how to put the whole thing together from just a pile of parts. The legs mount using a hex head bolt, which screws into a threaded insert in the bottom of the upright. A threaded insert screws into a piece of wood using a hex key. On the inside are threads, which accept a thumb screw or other convenient fastener, allowing you to attach two pieces to each other and take them apart as many times as you want to without damaging the wood. Just fan out the legs and then tighten the bolt a little bit. Adjust the feet to make the unit stand level wherever you might want to put it. The cross arms attach with a thumb screw into another threaded insert. The pegs that hold the yarn attach with hanger bolts to the slots that I cut in the arms with the drill press. A hanger bolt works on a principle similar to that of the threaded insert. On one side are threads that can screw into a piece of wood, and on the other end are normal bolt threads. That way, after you have inserted the hanger bolt into a piece of wood, you can use a wing nut, or other convenient attachment to put this piece on a cross piece, for example. In just a couple of minutes, you're ready to wind your yarn. Spun yarn collects either on a bobbin or on a spindle. This gets transferred to what's called a hank. I designed the cross arms so that when the pegs are in their fully extended position, each turn of the handle measures two yards on the hank. That way, a spinner can know how much she's spun. Sometimes you have a hank made by someone else that's not quite two yards around. You can adjust the pegs to fit any size hank and use the yarn winder as a swift to make balls. Then 
The project possibilities are only limited by a knitter's imagination. That's a beautiful yarn ball. <laughs>